What do you hope to accomplish between now and then? What does this team need to work on? Attention to the details, you know, the little things, uh, transition defense, communication on the defensive end, uh, offensively, execution-wise. I mean, it's, we haven't played a game yet, so it's still a lot of room to grow and want to keep improving each game. Being one of the vets on this team, do you like what you see? I do. I love our, our young guys, their, their commitment, uh, where they study the game, you know, the willingness to learn. Uh, I was telling LeBron the other day, we were on a plane, and I've never seen damn near 12 guys watching film you know, as a team. I haven't seen that many guys combined in the last four or five seasons I've played on the team. So uh, it was very refreshing to see and understanding that you know, this team is committed. How curious are they like when they hear you and LeBron talking about things that you see in the game today? They, they don't really listen much to me, but when LeBron talks um, <laughs> <laughs> on the plane, you know, he, was, he was breaking down some film and it was like everyone was looking like you guys uh, <laughs> watching film. So it was, uh, you know, I was one of the guys, well, look, like, what, what can I learn? So, uh, you know, it's, it's great to have a guy like him on your team that's, you know, willing to give you the knowledge and, and help, you know, make your, your game a lot easier. So you clean right back from San Jose? Uh, we went to, no, nah, yeah, we played, yeah. Those sessions you share with Lonzo, does he ever see things that you may not have seen in terms of you guys exchanging information that way with your court vision? Um, well, we only had one film session, you know, for the most part, and he was he was really quiet that, that film session in particular. Uh, I was quiet when Magic spoke as well, so, uh, you know, we're getting him out of that shell where, you know, we should be vocal, you know, you're the dominant, most dominant player on the court, you know, that with that mentality and, and being the coach, the extension of the coach on the floor, uh, he's, he's been more vocal, absolutely, in practice as well. How do you like the lineups where you play together? Right? It's, it's happened once. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's still going to take a lot of, little bit of time, but I played off the ball, he's played off the ball. Um, the, the more IQs on the court, the better to me. You know, so the game has become positionless uh, basketball. You know, there's no such thing as a point guard on the floor. It's guys that make plays, and, and that's what we both do. You guys ran a lot of those one four high sets in the preseason. What do you guys need to do to get the most out of those? Set more picks, you know, cut harder, uh, dominate our spots, our spacing on the floor. You know, simple things. You right. most recently saw Portland. What did you guys do to kind of unlock your success, and what do you think this team can capitalize on? We just play well as a team. You know, no one individual guy stopped those guys. You know, Dame and CJ, they still got their numbers. But uh, as a team, we were locked in and focused on just regardless of how we got it down, we, we got a W. I know you joke that nobody listens to you, but does Lonzo kind of listen to you? Um, he listens a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. What, what do you tell him? Just keep going, kid. The, the organization spent the last few years really putting an emphasis on the, on the culture of, of you know on the court and kind of around the team. Are there things about the environment they've created that are new for you, or things that you? I mean, this is definitely a players' first organization. Um, I can't say it's not the best I've ever played for. You know, as far as um, the staff, you know, they're great. They're very always welcome when you come in the doors. They speak all the time. They're polite. You know, they ask if we can do anything for you. Uh, from Magic to Rob, they're always around, just you know, trying to encourage you or whatever you may need as a player. You know, they're, they're always willing to, to give it to you or, or find a way to help you. So, We're, off the court, on the court, um, getting pulled over by police, um, TMZ. I mean, anything. They're, they're always there to try to figure out how to rescue you or make things better for the, for the team or for the players or organization. Where does Luke fit into that? I mean, he's he's a champ. You know, he's he's a champ. He's been around for a, for a long time. He's been been around so many great players. You know, 30, 40 years ago, he's been around. You know, those those guys. So his his demeanor, his laid back sense of humor, his, his laid back character, it just fits in as far as how the dynamics of this organization is ran. Did you know that the organization was like that before training camp? I mean, started? you expect certain teams. You know, certain franchises. You know, obviously playing for Boston, that was probably the best experience I've had since I've you know since I've left there and now I'm here. Uh, the other teams I play for, they do have great organizations, but none touch this one. Did you try to reach out to other NBA players to get a bearing of what Luke was going to be like to, to get coached by? No. Do you need to take on what's going on in Minnesota? No. <laughs> I'm worried about my, my Lakers here. This, this is year, what, 14 for you? 13. 13. Sorry about that. It's all good. Hopefully, I get to 14. <laughs> what gets you going for another year? I mean, you've done this a long time. How do you get to I need another ring. For this? Simple. <laughs> you know, I want to be one. I want to be the first to, to win in the two most historic franchises and you know, to ever ever put the basketball to use. So uh, I got one in Boston. Um, I would love to get one 
you know, with this organization. How far can this team go? I know you're a student of the rest of the NBA, but do you like what you see? I love what I see. You know, we got some, we got some dogs. We got a lot of dogs. Um, we got a lot of young, great talent, and we got the best player in the world. I think it's a good chemistry. It's a good mix, and we got to find a way to put it together. When you were in Boston, you got to combine your basketball IQ with one of the greats of Kevin Garnett. What's it like? Don't forget Paul with, Pierce. And Paul Pierce. He's, he's pretty smart himself. And and you know Doc. And Ray Allen. I mean, I mean, I learned from all those guys. B.J. Brown. Doc Rivers, um, Sam Cassell, you know, it wasn't just you know, myself or KG. I was a pup at the time. I was 21, 22. Thought I knew it all, but like I said, I learned so much from those, all my vets, and they were willing to share information with me, and I was just trying to be a sponge, and it kind of reminds me of how Kuz is, B.I., Zoe, and those young guys you know, remind me kind of myself back in the day as far as wanting to learn so much and asking a lot of questions. What's it like now, at where you're at now, to combine your IQ with LeBron? It's refreshing. You know, I haven't uh, played with a guy uh, well, not, not to just you know discount Drew AD last year, um, cause all the, the greats I played with in the past last couple of years, but um, you know LeBron speaks his name speaks for himself. You know he's he's one of the smartest. Uh, when he listens, everyone talks. I mean when he talks, everyone listens. Uh, so uh, I'm always a, a sponge as well. And at this latest stage of my career, uh, I try to learn as much as I can from coach as well. You know as far as just how to manage guys, that's still a process for me to continue to learn and get better at. You know so I try to learn every day. Last question, As please. You get older, what's that sort of balance between the ability of intelligence and experience, those things to, 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 to succeed when physical skills might be a step slow or you might lose? So, how does that kind of um, it Just kind of like it just takes its course. You know, I think um, I learned from Chauncey as far as, you know, he was telling me the game's 80% mental, you know, 20% ability. Everyone can do so many different things in this league, but. You know, it's like playing chess. Who can outsmart the next man? You know, everyone has talents. How can you take that away from, you know, what he loves to do versus playing to your strength versus his weakness?